lights they went up towards the condominium now what we're doing here is three days after a hatch we open the chamber to see what's left in there uh, nancy is probing gently in case we're lucky enough to find any live little ones that have not gotten out yet if that's the case uh, we will make sure you all see them uh, this is a loggerhead sea turtle they are threatened uh, they're a threatened species we had 52 nests on the beach this year and the way she's probing here is exactly the way we find the eggs when the nest is laid we know these nests are here because we have ATV riders that ride up and down the beach every morning early and they spot the track. She's a 300 pound turtle, so it's obvious something's been up on the beach. Uh, then they call the volunteers, which you're seeing here in force. Um, we come out and locate the eggs in the nest and stake it out. If it has to be moved because it's too close to the water, then we very carefully pull her. We found a little live guy, and just remember, she's probing gently because she has to make sure he's completely out of his shell. If he is pipped, which means he's halfway out, she can damage him if she pulls him out. So she's very gently taking this out. He will be released on a darker beach after dark. Um, anyway, that's what happens here. If we have to move them, we put the eggs in coolers, move them up the beach, measure the hole she dug, and we put take the eggs and put them up the beach. If you've got any questions at any time, please ask somebody with a turtle on their back. The turtle on their back. The turtle on their back. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make sure you get an up close and personal, so don't feel you have to get it right now. He's still working at it in there. We'll walk him around, walk him around. So Jen is now lining up the eggs that have hatched. They're broken. She will also line up unhatched. They will not hatch. They will not hatch. No. It's like a journey. Oh no, they, they're swimming. These these are the hatched eggs. We know they're swimming somewhere. This is an unhatched egg. We'll also pass the eggs around later. You can't touch anything but um, you can at least look at it up close. This nest is a good example of why lights on the beach are a problem. We have a lighting ordinance, all of our lights shine down, but what they're looking for is a large open wide open space and if the moon is out that's really nice but it doesn't have to be and that's where they're heading if they are if there are lights they are then so should you not leave your lights on inside the condo? And it is so helpful.
example, if you do not, or if you close the curtains, that is not in the lighting ordinance, but once you begin to understand, then it's really nice if you close your curtains or help. What about the garage lights that are on? Those are shielded and so they won't bother with our them. lighting ordinance. It's not that they don't bother them, but they don't bother them as much as some of the brighter lights. Oh, okay.